Warning, warning. Uh, Viking 2, we're ejected to the north. We have an engine failure. Eject, eject, eject. Well, fans, it looks like this thing put a crater in the ground. A little bit of leading edge damage there was really bad was the intake was crushed this is dollar store foam board actually i'm not going to end it like that i know i just crashed but i'm going to fly this again Bingo. Altitude. Pull up. Pull up. All right.
Alrighty. Well, that's it. I don't think I have much more battery voltage. I'm down to 55%. Maybe I'll have enough if I, I'll fly it again if I have enough, but I was pretty much 90% throttle the entire time. Yeah, this thing has a very high wing loading relative to model airplanes. KFM2 airfoil works, so thumbs up for that. It actually looks like a Eurofighter Typhoon in the air. I wish I had my ground personnel cameraman to film that, but he's not here today. So it's just me doing a Dave-it-yourself style video. And yeah, that's pretty much it, F-16XL. I'm super happy this finally worked. What a beautiful night to fly the F-16XL. Alright guys, final flight of the F-16XL or any plane from Aerospace Mat at this flying field here. So, hopefully it works really well. It's the final flight at this field. Alrighty fans, that was my final flight of an aircraft on film at this flying field here. This is where I learned to fly, but I'm actually moving, in the process of moving. So that's why this project took a little bit to get out to you guys. Also, I didn't expect to finish this project in time before moving, but because of delays and such, I was able to manage to get this project out. But this field, this is where I pretty much grew up in terms of enjoying the field and utilizing those play structures over there, as well as later in life, learning to fly the model aircraft. It's about a block from my current residence. So this has been a great field for me. I've had some great flights at this field, so it's bittersweet leaving it for the final time. I flew, of course, the other F-16 into those trees there, have my F-15 get stuck in one of these trees here. Night Radians, both of them got stuck in that same tree right over there. One of them actually did a U-turn because of a signal loss and went right into the tree. But as you guys remember, I've flown a lot of different aircraft here. I can't even name them all. Some of my most memorable projects, Night Radian, of course. The Pumpkin Plane, uh, Big Daddy, This is it, my friends. The last video, the last flight at this field here.